you should never trust american products and brands because they are really good at marketing you do a mistake if you follow the same playbook as america there are much better countries to learn from so what is the difference between let's say a chinese kid or an mm. indian kid mm. at the age of 10 as a food and in food mm. what is it that one thing that makes somebody grow or not grow china also had poor uh, genetics like the rest of the south asian countries mm. but if you see in the last 100 years china has increased their average height by almost 8 cm Hmm. where India has actually reduced it by 1 cm. If you look at the protein intake for average Chinese citizen, it comes to be around 72 to 75 grams and sometimes even 80. Hmm. Well, in India, it's still hovering around 50-60%. Again, we can also talk about how these numbers are derived because basically they look at the amount of ration a family of four has uh, bought and then basis that they estimate, okay, so if somebody has bought, let's say, 1 kg rice for this, this, this month, this is how much protein they might have gotten from this. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. So it's a very poor way of estimating protein um, consumption in India.